Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another plan with me video. Um, sorry for the voice over this time. I just had like a lot of background noise in the garden because um, it's like really hot right now and the windows were open and I didn't um, I didn't really realise until I was editing this video. Um, so yeah, here I am just starting off with um, some gorgeous, gorgeous new washi tapes from London Gifties. Um, some of these florals are from her new like wedding collection they come as a set um just stunning uh, as always her the link to her shop is below um i don't have a discount code for her um but you can use my name just Dakshina, to receive my free washi tape that i designed um if your order is over 65 pounds um, and then yeah, header stickers. I'm actually running out of my hollow randy dot plans ones. So I did have a look on Etsy and I didn't see any ones like any foiled stickers from her. So I don't know if she's taking a break or just not doing them anymore. Um, so I'm kind of like hoarding the last few now um, and just using these ones that I made myself, which um, I did manage to buy like some clear sticker paper and like print and cut my own stickers but they're not the best um i just really had difficulty sort of cutting them um no matter how like thick sorry how much pressure i used on the blade it was just um yeah a bit of a nightmare so i don't know if i need to experiment with different clear sticker papers but at least here in the uk there doesn't seem to be a massive choice um but anyway, they, they look nice on that um, washi because it's got obviously a transparent background, um, the stickers do. So yeah, that's nice. Um, this week was a very busy week for us. We were at the temple pretty much every single morning. Um, it is like the, la the sort of midway from August until like the first or second week of September is very like busy for us in terms of festivals that we have at the temple. Um so like not this week but the next week is um like I guess our Christmas it's called Janmashtami it's when like Krishna's birthday is so we have like a huge festival um but this week that we're in is another festival it's like a swinging festival which I did show some of um on my Instagram and I have it like saved as highlights um I think I did like a day in the life of a Hare Krishna type um yeah videos on Instagram and and saved them but it meant that I was at the temple every single day um and the kids were coming with me as well which is really nice and we kind of are there until like after breakfast time and then because this massive festival that we have coming up Janmashtami like our equivalent of Christmas um Vishaka was my oldest um was actually staying at the temple all day to do like service because this festival is like huge it's the biggest celebration outside of India for this festival and we get over like the weekend period we get probably like I would say 60 to 80,000 people visiting the temple from four o'clock in the morning till 1 a.m the next night um and then we do that all over again the next day and all over again the next day. So it is a huge festival and there's lots of like stalls for, um, you know, like food and bakery and things like that. But then there's also like lots of creative things. So she's helping out in the youth tent where they'll be putting on like plays and things like that um, based on, you know, like our philosophy and spirituality. So there'll be like lots of dance and drama and music Um food things to buy so it's like a big cultural festival um family festival as well um of course the main sort of um you know important event is the celebration of krishna's birthday um but in order to prep for that huge festival and then massive amount of people that we get um yeah vishak has kind of been helping out in the tent so she stayed on uh bless her it has been scorching temperatures again and they've been like out in the fields like painting <laughs> and stuff like that in like 30 33 34 degree heat um but yeah 
she she she's kind of been loving it and then in the evenings we've been going to temple again sometimes um but the nights i think because this heat wave is much closer to autumn the nights seem to be a lot cooler than the previous heat wave which was obviously only like a few weeks ago um it does get dark and cool a lot earlier and so luckily none of us have had any problems sleeping um so yeah i think i had like a chiropodist appointment this week and then on thursday we were at my family's house um because it's like another sort of indian more like an indian cultural festival of um it's called raksha bandhan when you like sisters will tie like a decorative string called a rakri on their brother's wrist for protection um and this like is celebrated hugely all over india and i guess in our family we've kind of just yeah kept up the tradition as well so i'll do like my brother and then my cousin brothers and then the girls will do their cousins um and then yeah like we had like a big family dinner at my mom's house as well um but we kind of have to go to like all the houses so we go to like you you're supposed to go to like all your different brothers houses and um tie this rakri and then in exchange he gives you a little gift sometimes it's like money sometimes it's chocolate whatever um so that's quite a nice nice little festival tucked in <laughs> there as well and then friday again was another huge festival at the temple um but yeah that's kind of been our week to be honest i don't think there was anything else interesting that's happened um because i obviously do child protection at the temple as well i kind of have to do like um in the lead up to this festival like maybe 2 weeks before the festival i kind of do walk throughs because there's lots of people who come to volunteer like my daughter for example but lots of adults they bring their children so i just have to kind of walk around do risk assessments and you know i'm in charge of safeguarding so I just have to make sure that children are not like unsupervised or they're not working um in high risk areas things like that um so yeah my evenings are kind of busy but um i can get through it quite quickly or i can spend as much time as i want so i do have flexibility in that sense and then on the festival day itself as well that will be like sort of my main service just um being in charge of safeguarding um but yeah that that's kind of our week really and then um next week again another busy week in the lead up to the main festival which is on friday uh we've got a couple of play dates <laughs> um i don't know why i thought that was a good idea but anyway we have a couple of play dates with um ishri's friends coming over um but i think it's kind of nice for her um as well cuz she has like huge amount of friends at the temple and they all hang out and play and things like that but it's also nice for her to have her friends like come over to the house and she can play with her toys and her lego and you know her things um and then we have yeah i think that's kind of it for this week i've marked all the important to-dos and tasks i used just some of these floral stickers that i printed and cut myself at home i am still using a one day per day one page per day layout um just because we're still on ho- summer holidays and I don't have a massive amount to do um and so yeah I've got plenty of space for journaling to be honest. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another plan with me video. I know this one was super short and also sped up but um like I said I just other than being at the temple all week we haven't really had many other sort of interesting plans. Um but yeah, I will be back with another plan with me next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care um and have a lovely week. Bye.